Welcome to our channel guys, my name is Lola and this is my husband, Kurush. Today I'm going to be showing you our apartment in Brickell, Miami. This is one of our dream apartments. We were super, super excited to move here. So I'll get right to it. This is, as you can see, when you're walking in, you have this long walkway, which has a really bright entrance. It's very airy. There's a bunch of sunlight coming in. So all we did here was we just hung this pretty little painting, kind of black and white to keep it neutral. Here we're living in a two bedroom, two bathroom, and I'm gonna start by showing you guys the guest's bathroom and the guest bedroom. What's up everybody? Tupac, Biggie and Smalls. Biggie. Okay, show us the bathroom. Okay, so this is the guest bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's actually really, really big for being a guest bathroom. I wanted to style it so that when you come in here, it's just like a hotel feel. So I tried to keep it very minimal, but also clean and classy. So you can see there's gold accents throughout. And then we incorporate, as you can see, blues and whites. And there's a little guy, that's Louis. Here is just a little accent piece that I love. I've recently been more into like these accent pieces as opposed to hanging just like paintings, which I'm new to. In the building, they had had us tour the one that's just for example, and it was this layout exactly. And I copied exactly everything they did in the apartment there because it just looks so clean and classy. So I, I tried to get similar pieces. So I got this from Home Goods. This is all from Home Goods as well. These are not the real towels, and my husband really doesn't understand that, that we don't use these. I don't know if you guys know this or if you feel the same way. When I put towels in the guest bathroom, you're not supposed to use them. Even the guests shouldn't be using them, but they're allowed to if they want. Karush and I are not allowed to touch them. And every time he comes in here to use the bathroom, he'll always use them and it, it's just a whole thing that we have to learn all over again. So these are not to be touched. They're just for display. I use them when she's not looking. Yeah, and then I have to come and fix them up and everything. All right, so this is um, a little robe, again, not to be used, purely display. Nobody has ever used that. And then as you can see in here, we have a stand-up shower, which I tried to create like a cute little scene with, you know, a wooden bench, a little stove, and another matching towel, again, not to be used. It's a nice, comfortable, cozy feel. And that's our kid just having a blast. Okay, so that's the guest bathroom. In through here, you're gonna go into the guest bedroom. I'm really, really happy that we have a guest bedroom because we have family coming over and just people that wanna visit. So it's just nice to have. Up until now, Krush and I never had a second bedroom. We've always been in a one bedroom condo. This was pretty exciting for us. I know it may be simple for some people, but the second bedroom was really, really exciting. Yeah, it just need, makes- we needed, oh, we needed some space too. Right, yeah, and it just makes the whole apartment feel bigger, right? So when you're in a one bedroom, everything is everywhere and then you just kind of feel clustered. So this was really important. Mm -hmm. So here we have the king size bed. It fits comfortably in here, as you can see. I would say this is mainly Louis's bed because he likes to come in here when we're not home and have his alone time, you know? His own little king size bed. Exactly. <laughs> he goes on every single pillow one by one and he sleeps on them and takes turns. And then here I decorate it with just kind of again, like gold and blues to give uh, guests more of like that. Again, like homey, but like nice resort type of feel. All white bedding, I'm really big on that. Uh, just a couple of night tables and a big uh, sparkly painting from Home Goods, was it? Yeah, it was Home Goods. Yeah, Home yeah. Goods. And then this right here, I just have this wall art. Again, I told you guys I'm into like these 3D types of things now. And this is just like two flowers mm -hmm. that I got. And I made a pretty big hole and dent behind one of them. So this is a nice little cover up. Show them the view too. Okay, so this view is one of my favorite parts of the guest bedroom. Ocean which is view, why we as it. you guys could see right over here yeah. and over here and a little bit over here. A little bit over there. And then down there too, I think, actually, if you get in here from there as well. Oh yeah, right there. So we're in the heart of Brickle, and so when you look down, you see all the action. That's the indoor-outdoor mall that yeah, Brickle built. Yeah, it's an open-air mall. That's right, that's the one, and this is um, to the right. You'll have like the restaurants, and if you go down even past this building, you'll see a bunch of restaurants and like a cluster of bars and stuff, which is really nice to come downstairs to. Oh, and then this rug, I love this like, Middle Eastern look type of rug, but like also rustic feel. So I thought when I saw this, I really thought it would go good with this bedroom because it still has like that traditional feel, but it's not so like old looking, um, if that makes sense. So I like this rug for that. And then at nighttime, the rug actually becomes a lot darker. So during the day when you have the sunlight, everything brightens up, and then at nighttime, it's nice and dark. All right, come on down. 
So here we are into our kitchen and living room area. This is one of my favorite parts to spend time in. And again, like I told you guys earlier, I'm really into like these 3D things. So I found this for, I was gonna originally hang like a mirror or something here, but I was just like, you know what? Let's keep it nice and clean and simple and sophisticated because we're adults now. So I chose this instead and it looks actually really cute. This is the thermometer thing for Google Nest. Um, which in the beginning it was trying to kill us because it has its pre-settings for like 19 degrees every single day, every three hours, and it took us a while to figure that out. And I guys, guess. that's that's not Fahrenheit, that's Celsius. That's Celsius, yes, because <laughs> we don't know anything about Fahrenheit. Oh, and if you guys don't know why, we're actually from Toronto. Karusha and I are not American. We're actually Canadians. We moved here from Toronto. I want to say what, six months ago? Six months ago, yeah. yeah We've been here for a while. Ago, yeah. All right, so let me show you guys the kitchen. As you can see, it's a pretty big kitchen. This is the biggest kitchen I've ever had in my life. Um, well, I've only ever had three places up until now, but this is definitely the biggest. It's so spacious. It's really good when you're cooking because you have this massive sink over here and you can just do all your prep here. You can have your prep here. You can have prep here or here. It literally makes everything easy to, uh, to use. And it's nice because you get kind of like a little pantry here and here as well. So. You have a lot of storage. I come show them all the storage that we have here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cabinets, which is insane because I love space and I always fill it up somehow, some way. Two things I actually really love about this kitchen. I love that the microwave is not high above like this in our previous condos. They're always like up here, which kind of ruins the look. And you don't need it up here. Yeah, our previous one, instead of having the hood fan, it was a microwave and the hood fan in one. So it was yeah. right over. So previously in our in our Toronto condo, we had the hood and the microwave built into one. You know how they have that as a unit? And it just was like ugly. Like the, that was the first thing you would see. So I really like that this is down here. And then another thing that I'm really, really, really excited about having is, um, the, what is this called? Like a crusher or a drainer? So oh yeah, hit it. So if I turn something on here and I have like, let's say, compost or produce or something down there, I can just push this. And it just crushes everything in its path. Yeah, like whatever goes down the drain will just get crushed and then it goes into, um, like along with the water and the fluid. Including so, our utensils sometimes. I know, oh my God, so many times I like accidentally have a spoon or something in there that I won't see and then chewed up one of them by accident. Do you see this? So it's pretty powerful, guys. This is like full shredder. on steel. Yeah, the shredder, exactly. I think that's what it's called. Um, anyway, so be careful with your utensils in the shredders. Okay, so I like that this kitchen is obviously looking to the view. It's looking onto our lounge, uh, living room area. Karush and I are really, really big on like a nice comfy couch. And when we moved to Miami, it was at the time where everyone was moving and it was so hard to find a couch because it was sold out everywhere. And I had already seen some people get this famous Ikea couch and I was like, you know what, let's try it. They had it in stock, it was a decent color because I like neutrals, I don't want anything dark. Um, previously, we used to have a vegan leather couch and that was great, but it was all white. Um, this one, I wanted to try to find a vegan leather one again, but I couldn't, so we just went with this. The cool thing about these couches is you can customize it to be literally any shape. And you can change the color completely if you want. So you could just go separately and buy like completely new covers for the couch. So if in a year we get tired of this color, we can go get the gray one. You just have to order for the particular pieces that you have. Anyway, so that's our couch. It's really, really comfortable. It's a lot bigger than the one that we had before. This is again, another nice little cutout view that they have. It's similar to the view that we have from the guest bedroom. It looks at parts of the ocean. It has uh, the surrounding buildings you can see the mall down here you can see all the busy streets of Frickle and to the right again you'll see all the busy restaurants and the main thing is guys the natural lighting because it's floor to ceiling windows yeah that's another really important thing that was for us because prior to moving to this particular unit we were in another smaller unit in the same building and it was just dark like it wasn't facing this part it was facing north it was just super dark in there there wasn't like floor to ceiling windows which again i know it's not the end of the world but it really does change your mood every day when you wake up and you wake up to like sunshine and just like a lot of light coming in so we're really happy to have all of these lights oh and i forgot to show you guys again on my um, little 
road to accessories and building and design. I got these 3D like I don't know, like porcupine type of things. And Very so dangerous, great. guys. Don't touch them if you ever. Yeah, try they're them. really dangerous, but they're actually so cute. They just add like a nice little touch to space and like make it look modern. So the decor in this room is you have. I was looking for paintings for here for so long because I didn't want something that was like glittery, but I also wanted to incorporate all of the dark and light colors. So I found these two on a whim at Home Goods. And I was always looking for something that was in two because it's a pretty big wall, so I didn't want it to be empty with just the one. Which was telling me I'm always like buying things on impulse, and then later, like a month later, I don't end up liking it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to Karusha. I'm gonna say, not gonna buy this today. If when I come back, it's still here, I will buy it. I couldn't stop thinking about these for a whole week, and I made him take me back. Luckily, they were both in stock. Nobody had ever found them. So I got both of these from Home Goods. I have like mixed pillows from City Furniture. I also wanted for the first time ever like a gold accent uh, coffee table with a side table as well. So this is both from Rana Furniture, I think they're called here. I'm not really sure if it's a big chain in Florida, but this is where we were able to find them. Everywhere else had like the Scandinavian look, which I like, but I'm not into 100% just yet. All right, so let me take you to the view right here. This is our balcony. We've been spending a lot of time here, so let me show you. So this is our little corner to hang out in. It's always really hard to get onto, but Yes, you just go. got to throw yourself in there. It's a little egg. Exactly. This is our little egg chair. I love this. It's super nice. And even though you're in Florida, you actually get a pretty big breeze. It's always nice and like breezy, especially because we're on the 43rd floor and that's a pretty high floor. So we always have a nice breeze coming through here. All right, guys, we're just surrounded by concrete. So you can see again, it's the same view that you saw before, but we almost have like a 180 view. So this is all the busy parts of the downtown. over there when there's big boats coming it opens up i love this like initiative that they did with um the mall by putting like gardens on the roof which is really really nice for the environment see the other side of miami where it's less obviously downtown it's a that's lot the more baseball stadium right there that's right that's the baseball stadium they're building a new hotel here and yeah it's honestly a really really amazing view this is one of the biggest things that we loved about this apartment was the view it's even more beautiful at night because at night all of the buildings light up and then you just have like darkness and like and just lit up building it's just beautiful here we just made like another little corner our balcony kind of goes i don't know if you can see like it kind of goes in like a zigzag the one next to us would have it like this instead so this is actually good because it gives us two separate spaces and then from here you can actually see the bedroom as well but i'm going to show you right after this kitchen is currently as you can see we don't have a dining table it's because we don't want to like cluster this space by putting a table and if our couch was smaller I'm sure we could have fit it but the couch is really really important to us so we're actually gonna end up getting stools for here because this is as you can see like this slab is actually massive you can have easily four five six people just you know sitting across here and having dinner or drinks or whatever so you actually don't need a table here even though you have the space for it so we're actually going to try to find something maybe white gold the stools maybe you guys can help us with that yeah guys in miami right now it's impossible to get furniture like you pretty much have to take whatever they have in inventory yeah and like if you like something for example i see a couple of pieces that i like they come in stock in like two months and that's a good estimate if you're lucky now. Exactly. I'm not like I'm not patient like that. If I want something for a furniture, I'm not the type of person. I know a lot of people can do this, but I can't place an order and wait for like two months. It just I get too excited, so I need to have it right then and there. So we'll probably see if IKEA or something has it. We'll we'll go together maybe. This is our obviously TV, and then this is a little basket that I have from Target, just to kind of keep the miscellaneous. And I also hide. Um, the router in here, the Wi-Fi router, because it has to be placed here. Apparently there's nowhere else in the condo where they can put it. So yeah, I tried to hide the router there and there. Probably not safe to keep that in there because it does heat up, but we'll worry about that later. And then here I just have two little vases with these pretty little white flowers. 
Okay, and now let's go into our bedroom. Ta-da! So as you can see, Louis is already on the bed, but I'm really big on like having an all white bedroom because in the past in our Toronto condo, we had all black furniture, the nightstands and everything, the dress no were natural all black. lighting. Yeah, no natural lighting. Even if you'd had it, just the black furniture in a small room made it really, really like dense and dark. If you're from a big so, city like Toronto or New York, you know what it feels like to live in a shoebox. Exactly. And like the weather is already gloomy 90% of the time if it's not snowing. So it really does help to have all white. And plus here, even if it's a little bit cloudy one day, it still feels really bright because of all the white furniture i was looking for this particular bed i don't care about any other bed in the world except for this one particular bed it's the one we used to have in toronto i hunted it down this one i waited for this one i placed an order and i waited because the mattress the look of it just the feel was just it's our favorite bed babe right it's like mm -hmm. honestly i don't know what it is but it's like comfortable a firm, bed and it's simple yeah it's a firm bed and i love that the one you see in the guest bedroom was our original bed that we got and we just didn't like it it was too soft we we like to sleep on like something like wood basically we got it because there was nothing else available in miami remember we had to wait six months oh yeah, yeah you're <laughs> right yeah it was everything was sold out too so as you can see i did all white bedding and most of my other bedding is white as well over here the accents are gold so this is really cool because it has plugs on the back of it and then this again i wanted to incorporate some silver back in here gold mirror and then over there you've got the same thing um and then with the light the gold on those looks really really beautiful over here i tried to create like a for the most part the condo is not girly it's very like modern and just airy so i tried to create like a little girly moment for myself here so this i got from home goods this is, I think, Home Goods as well, and so are these. This right here is from a store in Turkey called Pashabache, which is like one of my favorite stores. And I had more in Toronto, but I was only able to bring this one, which I love. It's actually a vase, but I just keep it here because I love the sculpture. And then our rug, this rug, we got it from, I think this is Ikea as well. If I'm not mistaken, this is Ikea also Ikea. Home goods. It might be Home Goods, actually. You're I right. can't remember. I can't remember either. But look at this massive closet that we have. It's a walk-in closet. So right here, we have literally all the space that we need. Um, we don't really have too many, too many clothes because again, we don't want to come with like a bunch of clothes. So here we have our daily clothes and then pajamas, some everyday bags, and then same with Karusha's side over here. All right, and then the last part, but one of the most important parts um, for me especially is the bathroom. This is Karusha and I's bathroom. It's got the double sink, his and hers vanity. I have these little pretty lights coming down, so it's also nice and modern. And then here, I don't know about you guys, but I love to take baths. This bathroom comes with both a shower, a massive one, and a bath, so come check it out. I love that it's all this white marble. It's super like modern and just massive. Like you could easily fit like two, Maybe three people in here. Not that we'll ever have three people in exactly. here. Exactly. <laughs> Not that we'll ever have three people. <laughs> but like what I'm trying to say, it's a massive shower. And in the beginning, when I first came to Miami, I, I noticed that all of the, the units had like open, like they didn't cover, you know, with like a door or anything like that. And at first, I'm like, how do people shower like this? Doesn't the water go everywhere? And actually, you'd be surprised. It actually doesn't. I don't know how or how it was invented to be like this. It's, it's the humidity. It catches it in the air. Exactly. It's so humid here that it just evaporates. No, joking. But seriously, I don't know how, but it doesn't actually ever come out onto ground over here. But I love it. I take a lot of baths in there. And I'm trying to convince Karush to take more with me because he's a guy. So obviously he's not big into baths. But I will get him there because, you know, sometimes you need a bath. All right. So what else should we show here? Laundry. Laundry, yes. Oh, no. Fridge. Oh, guys. We forgot to show you guys the fridge. I love this fridge so much. Just a heads up, it never looks like this. We just did it for yeah, the video. Yeah, we literally just did it for you guys. So I hope you feel special because it never looks this clean and this uh, pretty. But you can see I tried to get like um, little containers for everything so that it's just easy to grab. And you know when you have like all these bags of produce, it just takes up so much space. I also did the same for our eggs because, you know, we're bougie now. So we put our eggs in a container, not the yes. original box. And Don't forget the hummus. And then the hummus down there. We have a couple of fruits. We have some tofu, cheese, and stuff like that. 
got some waters over here, Acai. all of our sauces. And um, this one right here, Celsius, is one of my favorite drinks, Kroosh as well. So here is nothing important. It's that like electrical water, and electrical unit thing. And then here is our washer and dryer. Don't mind, I already have sheets in there, so we're just gonna pretend that's not there. But that's our dryer, this is our washer. We have our cleaning stuff down there. Just kind of tucked away so no one sees it. All right, guys, so that's it for our apartment tour of Miami. This is honestly one of our dream apartments, and I wanted to style it perfectly before we showed anyone. So I hope you like what we've done with the place. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you love the tour of our apartment here in Miami. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.